Well, she's harmless to me. Item number, SCP-8247. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. Instances of SCP-83, instances of SCP-8247, are to be kept in large, separate animal enclosures at Site-908. SCP-8247 instances are to be provided with appropriate food, water, and enrichment daily. As SCP-8247 instances can transform at will, Foundation personnel are to approach instances of SCP-8247 with extreme caution. Access to the enclosures outside of providing SCP-8247 instances with their daily needs is not permitted. Reports of wild animals and slash or house pets that show behaviors or abilities that align with documented information about SCP-8247 instances are to be monitored by the SCP-8247 research team in cases of possible containment breaches. All witnesses of SCP-8247 are to be administered amnestics and released. Diamond Summers may be allowed to visit SCP-8247-827 for three hours, twice a day during its meal times. Summers is permitted to feed SCP-8247-8 by hand. Description SCP-8247 refers to an anomalous subspecies of felines. SCP-8247 instances possess the ability to transform into a Bengal tiger at will. SCP-8247 instances have often been observed to display violent tendencies, often attacking and consuming other animals and humans. Despite their primal behaviors, instances demonstrate behaviors of a typical house cat, regardless of which form they are currently in. SCP-8247 instances do not require raw meat and are capable of surviving on processed cat food, although larger portions are required and instances still exhibit a preference for, for fresh meat. Despite anatomy differences, SCP-8247 maintain behavioral traits influenced by the anatomy of big cats, such as the inability to purr except when exhaling. There are currently 247 instances of SCP-8247 in containment. Addendum 1 Findings The following are relevant media discovered of a notable SCP-8247 instance, dubbed SCP-8247-827, found by the Foundation in deduce chronological order. This includes social media posts on the platform Instagram, and journal logs by its owner, Diamond Summers. This is the only SCP-8247 instance to be kn known to be a house pet. Megan the Kitty Cat Today is our last day in our apartment, moving into the new house tomorrow. Hopefully there will be lots of room for Megan to roam and lay down. May 6, 2021. So my therapist, before money became an issue, suggested this journaling thing, so hello journal, lol. Anyways, I can't fucking believe I'm getting evicted from my apartment. My only option is to move in with my aunt and uncle. They fucking hate me. They've always thought internet influencer wasn't a real job, but they offered to let me live with them. Probably just so they can boss me around, TBH. They've always been so bossy, even when I was a fucking kid. They always yelled at me and called me lazy and shit, and still do. Like, they'd even insult my parents for letting me turn out the way I did. Anyway, at least I've got Megan. She's always been so sweet. We moved into our new house. Megan gets along with our roommates rather well. Taking Megan to the vet to get her checked out. Everyone wish her luck at the vet. May 12th. Ever since we got here, Megan's been acting... Very strange. She's been hissing at and scratching my aunt and uncle, and once she even bit my aunt. 
They're threatening to call animal control if I don't have her checked out. I don't know what I'm going to do. Poor Megan doesn't even seem to notice she's in danger. She's just been cuddling up with me at night and licking my face. I don't deserve her. May 14th. Thank fuck I have a job interview in two weeks, just about. The closer I am to getting a job, the closer I am to getting out of here. Being an influencer is not paying as well as I thought it would. I'm just not popular enough and sponsors are so hard to come by these days. Maybe they were right. Maybe being an influencer isn't a real job. I shouldn't have quit my job. Hey guys, I've noticed something kind of funny about Megan. She only purrs when she exhales. Do any of your cats do this? Like, she doesn't purr normally. Wonder if it's the breed she is? Which I actually don't know, lol. Hey guys, I have a few questions I was hoping you could answer. So Megan has always had a bit of a large appetite, lol. I was wondering, firstly, do any of you have cats with large appetites? And how do you afford all that food? Because she sure is running me dry, colon P. May 22nd. It was a mistake asking Rachel and Todd for help with cat food. They just fucking screamed at me and said, if you can't afford it, get rid of the damn cat. Wish Megan didn't eat so much. I love her, but she has the biggest appetite of any cat I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. May 20th. I'm shaking so badly right now. My whole life has just been turned upside down. A lot has just happened. And why I'm even still writing in this thing, I don't know. They tried to throw Megan out of the house when I was asleep. Woke up in the middle of the night to get water and I heard meowing by the front door. So I opened it and I fucking found her outside. I know she wouldn't have gotten out on her own. She hates going outdoors. So I go and wake the fuckers up and confront them. And they just scoffed and said, it's not a big deal. So I tell them, yes it is, that's my cat, she's my baby. And they're like, it's always about the damn cat. And we argued for a while about Megan and how I only care about the cat and how they hate me and that I'm worthless and I need to do something worthwhile. And then eventually, Todd jumps out of the bed and grabs me by the collar and punches me, screaming at me to shut up. And then, there's a fucking tiger in the room. Blood. And guts and gore they're gone then it just walked up to me afterwards turned into Megan and rubbed against me like nothing happened what am I supposed to do Megan is a tiger my aunt and uncle are fucking dead a gory mess in here Fucking terrified. May 20th. I have to get out of here. The police are going to come and find me. They'll blame me for this. But take Megan with me. What if she just eats me? But I can't just leave her. I'm all she's ever known. But I just... I don't know what to do. Guys, I think something is seriously wrong with Megan. Addendum 2 Police Reports On June 8th, 2021, Diamond Summers, Summers and her cat Megan were reported mi missing by the local police department after the discovery of the bodies of Rachel and Todd Smith. Summers had left behind all personal belongings, including all electronics. Summers was later discovered on June 17th in St. Joseph, Michigan, approximately two hours from her hometown of Joliet, Illinois. Summers was discovered when, when local reports of a tiger mauling local residents were released. Upon Summers' apprehension, physical notes were found on her person. June 9th. I had to go. I had to protect Megan. People would find out they're going to look for her. And I couldn't have that. I know I'm homeless now. But I was going to be anyway. It's worth it. June 10th. 
I just realized. How am I going to feed her? I don't have cat food. She's a fucking tiger. What if she eats someone again? What if she eats me? She's never attacked me before. But what if she does it when she goes hungry? Shit. June 12th. I haven't given her something to eat in like three days. We're both starving. All she's had is grass. She started to lick me for no reason. I am scared. June 13th. I don't think I trust Megan anymore. She's been acting really weird. She's been randomly turning into her tiger form for no reason. I do not like this. How did I ever trust her? Why did I do this? Maybe I should go back. Just turn her into the authorities. Save my own skin. She's just a cat. June 14th. She did it again. Someone tried to talk to us, and she ate them. She can't keep doing this. I begged her to stop, and I think she understands. June 14th. Oh my god. He had a knife. I think he was going to try and mug me. Or something. She did it to protect me, not because she was hungry. Why do I keep doubting her? Such a terrible cat owner. She loves me. And I love her. Megan, I love you. Addendum 3 interview. Diamond Summers was taken into the Foundation. Into by the Foundation on June 20th, 2021. Summers was later interviewed about SCP-8247-827. This interview took place before SCP-8247's file was created. Open interview. Interviewed. Diamond Summers. Interviewer. Researcher Kara Sandals. Forward. Researcher Kara Sandals of the Zoology Department at Site 908 was tasked with interviewing Diamond Summers, the owner of SCP-8247-827. Begin log. Hello, Diamond. I appreciate you coming to talk with me about Megan. Uh, hello? You said you wanted to, like, study her. You're not going to poke and prod her with needles or anything, are you? <laughs> oh, no. It's closer to observing her, but no poking, poking or prodding involved. Good. Also, just for your information, the people she hurt were in self-defense. She doesn't just attack people for no reason. She's not dangerous just because she's a tiger. Diamond, I understand your defensiveness, but I'm going to ask you to calm down. I didn't accuse her of being dangerous. You seem to know a lot about her. Of course I know a lot about her. She's my cat. I've had her since she was a kitten. And are you sure you don't think she's dangerous? I don't believe that you don't. While others like Megan have shown violent tendencies, Megan herself has not. I've worked with animals a long time. I can tell when one is bonded to a human the way Megan is bonded to you. I do not think she's dangerous. I think she's protective. I still don't believe you! I still don't believe you won't take her away from me! Wait. Others like her? There are others like Megan. Yes, we currently have other instances in containment. As I said, you seem quite knowledgeable about the species. What else have you observed about Megan? Observed? Like what? Like what she likes to do? What do you want to know that so you can use it against her? Like behaviors, natural instincts, likes, dislikes, stuff like that. And no, not to use it against her to help her. Please, just answer the question. Uh, fine. Um, she eats? <laughs> A lot. Like she's got this huge appetite. 
But that makes sense with the tiger thing now. Bengal tigers can eat as much as 60 to 75 pounds of food in one night. The instances we currently contain have all been observed to eat a lot of animals and people, but it seems Megan was able to survive off of cat food. Visible discomfort is seen on Summer's face. <sighs> I could never imagine Megan doing such a thing. She's a sweetheart, she really is. Yeah, but she hits a, a lot of it, like I said. Um, she also doesn't purr right, like she only purrs when she exhales. That's another natural behavior of a tiger. I'm surprised that didn't set you off to there being something off sooner. Me too, to be honest. Uh, recently I made a post asking my Instagram followers about it, but I never looked at the comments. Still, this all confuses me. What's your goal here? I get that. We're not all thinking about things like that too hard. Our goal is to help Megan, as I already said. Anything else you've, ob you've observed? Yeah, I've found Megan really likes to play with toys. Have you tried toys with the other instances? Megan really loves those wands that have the feathers and worms, you know? We have not. Uh, currently, we just feed them and give them places to climb and such. The fact that you call them instances tells me a lot. Even though they're tigers, maybe they'd be happier if you played with them. They're cats, too. Maybe you just haven't found some of their playful sides. Cats often get what seems to be violent when they really just want to play. That's true. That's a very common house cat behavior. Diamond, you're very knowledgeable about Megan, which leads us to believe that you may be of some help to, to us here. Megan has already shown to not like to be distanced from you from, for too long. It's been a week and she's already injured three staff members and attempted to injure two more. Before this interview, I was discussing something with my colleagues and you've only further proven yourself here. We would like to offer you, offer you an opportunity What kind of opportunity? The kind where we allow you to continue to see Megan. As we see you're currently homeless, we will house you and provide you with basic needs. In exchange, you will help us study and take care of Megan, and possibly other instances of, AD, of SCP-82. And possibly other instances of SCP-82. SCP, and possibly other instances of SCP-8247, if it is deemed safe. I... I get to keep Megan? So you were serious about helping her. Now I feel kind of bad for doubting you. You can't live with her anymore, but you will be allowed to visit her. How often is yet to be determined. What do you say? I... Uh, of course. I'm not really in the position to turn you down. I'd love to help you. Thank you. Thank you so much. No problem, Diamond. Now, Megan is probably waiting to see you. In the log. Closing statement. As of June 25th, 2021, Diamond Summers has been granted level zero clearance, with some exceptions. Allowing Diamond Summers access to interact with other instances of SCP-8247 is currently pending. <laughs>